So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit polysurfaces by regenerating them um, as surfaces. So first thing, you would want to know if an object is a polysurface or a surface. So first, go to the Object Properties menu, and you can see that the object type of this is a polysurface. Basically, polysurfaces are joined surfaces. So if we go to uh, F10 or select it points on command, we can see that the surfaces themselves are editable, but when joined together, surfaces as a polysurface is not editable. So how can uh, you create or basically regenerate a polysurface as a surface is what I will show you. One command. Um, is using the extract, I, extract wireframe where you extract the wireframe and you would join these curves and then lock between. See, one of the problems I have is I don't like to spend the time and join the curves. Um, I just like to join as one whole. So uh, with the extract wireframe command, you sometimes have an issue with that. You spend more time for lofting. So there's an option. I wouldn't necessarily use this option. Let me show you another way. Is to extract the ISO curves. Right now, extracting the ISO curve on the segment, I mean on the surface, basically gives you the contours of the, the surface rather than um, perpendicular contours. So it allows for um, curves uh, to be in three dimensions. Curves. So I'm going to, based off the generation of the surface, so I'm going to walk between them. And you don't necessarily have to join them like the extract wireframe. And then rebuild it if you want to to make it a little bit more smooth. Now it's important to know in the loft command that the arrangement and the order of selection is extremely important. Otherwise, you might create something like this where you you have to align the curves afterwards, and it's just it's strange and it's problematic. At times. So it's important to know that. And you delete this, put the uh, surface back um, on, the layer back on, and use the contour command. I like to go in between views now. So first you select a plane base point, which I'll select here. Then um, the curve uh, perpendicular to the contour planes. So this is good. It allows you to create sections, but numerous sections at once rather than just using the section plane. Now I'm going to lock. I'm going to join them first, and then delete the unnecessary lock between. So you can rebuild it, but right now it's pretty smooth. I think that's okay. This is one option. Another option is to actually another option is to uh, use a sweep to command using the rails of the wireframe um, outside edge, which can be generated in two ways. First, using the silhouette command. As you can see, it um, gives you a silhouette of the wireframe of the surface, as well as creates um, some of the invisible surfaces of the uh, of the, right, the polysurface. I'm going to join this whole thing. You can see it joining the whole thing together. I'll delete this. And another way of generating this is going 
to the properties command and instead of selecting the surface density as being visible, make it invisible and then extract the wireframe. This is similar but as you can see it creates the wireframe along each of the surfaces that create the polysurface. Now we have two surfaces, or two, I mean, curves along on top of each other. I like to use the select dupe command, which shows you there are 13 duplicates, and 13 curves that are unnecessary, basically. I'm just going to delete them. Now I'm going to um, join the edges. So we want four guides, basically. Join them. So let's make sure we have enough. Join one, two, three, four, five. So with the sweep command, you can uh, use the outside edges as rails and the cross sections. And you know, uh, rebuild it if necessary or add a slash. Show you what slash does. This gives you another kind of point along. That's another way. And if you use the F10 command, you can see that you, it's very simple to edit the control points in either sweep 2 or the lofted contours. So these are two ways, well actually more than two ways, of regenerating the polysurface so it's editable.